in September 1937 in a Venetian restaurant to meet warrior of the First World War and singer, writer and actress Erich Maria Remarque and Marlene Dietrich. On the first day, the acquaintance writer admired for Melon songs, but Marlene was not disappointed. She did not love corner pleasure, because in 16 years old she was raped by a music teacher. They were together for three months. I was so happy. We just read and slept. We are gentle everything is so wonderful, Lizzie. God, how I love this man. The actors recalled the time. At the end of 37, Dieter flew to America, and Mark went to Port Ronca. All the time they parted from Mark lived with a letter for his lovely actors. He wrote, I completely believe you. It's terrible, but it's given to me by the way without the slightest labor. Over time, the writer moved to Los Angeles, when Marlene lived and walked. Actors like Remark's company, his intelligence, and Remark was stupefied with his feeling for the lovely actors. He forgave her everything. Gradually, their relationship became a drama. In 1940, they broke up. Remarks powered all his feeling, pain, suffering, sadness in the novel Arch the Trump. Not flattering inspiration for the image of John was Marlene Dietrich. This beautiful and sad story ending in September 1970, when Erich Maria died, after survived him for 22 years. All love was to be eternal. This is her eternal torment. <laughs>